talk about a few things. A few things. We are on our last day of groundwork, I'm pretty sure. The past three sessions with him have been awesome and he's been improving so much. This will be our last day unless he's like crazy tomorrow. Tomorrow I will ride him. That will be in episode three. Last episode when I was trying to talk to the camera, he was all over the place. He wouldn't stand still and I will show that right now, but he was just all over the place. And I tried putting a saddle on him to check saddle fit because I just barely bought a saddle for him and he wouldn't stand still for that. He was awful. And to be honest, like that was two weeks ago and we are just now, granted I haven't worked with him every day because I've been gone and it's been downpouring rain, but any day that I have the chance, I did. He's been a challenge. And I really wish I filmed this when I was first feeling the things that I was feeling. Um, I posted it on my Instagram, but I'm gonna try to say it with almost the same emotion that I had when I felt the way that I did. I don't know if any of that made sense, but let me continue so you guys get what I'm saying. Um, training him has, or introducing him to these fundamental groundwork, he has done them before. As you guys saw in episode one, he was doing them, but he's had a year off and bring him back into it, he has been extremely disrespectful, like really bad. I would try to work with him and he wanted to focus on everything but me. And I was just getting so, so, I guess frustrated you could say. So for you guys who don't know, I've been training horses for almost nine years, but the past year, two years, I've kind of been out of it. Like I've trained Rory, and I've worked with my own horses, but I haven't really trained a horse. And especially this last year, because I was pregnant, like I was really out of it. So I was coming in feeling really confident. And even those years that I wasn't really training horses, I, like other horses besides my own, I was still studying and still like doing that a lot. So it's like, it's not like this knowledge completely left me, but I was kind of out of practice. And that kind of hit me, like it was, kind of very humbling for me because working with him because I realized like man he's a lot of horse I've worked with Mustangs I've worked with horses that were untouchable and disrespectful and he at that point I felt was the most difficult horse I've worked with because I could not get him to do my two dogs are running around and he's just like what I could not get him to do anything I wanted him to do and he would just oh you're so sweet I don't let my horses rub on me, but that was kind of sweet. I don't know if you guys know the quote is frustration begins where knowledge ends. And I felt like I had enough knowledge to do, to train a horse. Like, and I haven't, I couldn't remember the last time I really felt that frustrated because with him, I was getting nowhere. And I really, really, really wish I had clips of before because it was a mess. Like he just walked around me. I couldn't get him to stand still. I would try to work him more to get his mind more on me and he wanted nothing to do with me and I knew that I would break have a breakthrough with him I knew it but I didn't know when that was gonna be and I and I didn't know I know I knew that I had to go that it was me probably more than it was him yes he was disrespectful but I was messing up somewhere and so I went back and I went to all my fundamental like training stuff and I read them over and all these little stuff I was missing, these little details I was missing. And I didn't realize it because honestly, I am out of practice. Came back, studied a bit more. I came back and it was like, I felt so much more confident. I felt so much more at peace, I guess you could say. I don't know if that sounds weird, but I was more relaxed, which communicated to him more relaxed. And since then it's like, we've been improving awesome. Because everything I've been teaching him has...
want to record this before I forgot because I just decided to work with Charlie and have him just kind of do it at liberty and do the same things but at liberty. Um, the only reason I feel like I can do this is because he knows this stuff. Just the past few weeks that I've been working with him, he has just been so unfocused on me that he just doesn't care to do it. So he's been taught this before. He's just not trying. He's just focused on other things. And so I just decided to, okay, let's kind of take things slow because he is kind of reactive for us. Um, not get too intense because I am kind of more of an intense person. So I have to focus more on dialing myself down to, there we go, um, to um, work with more reactive horses, which is what I work with the majority of the time, but still I have to kind of practice that. But I decided to just do it all at Liberty. I've been having him move his fore quarters and hind quarters at Liberty, and um, I worked him in the round pen as well, and he's actually doing really well. Um, he's not trying to walk forward and just like totally ignore me. He is focused on what's going on over there because my other horses are over there but he's still focusing on me and not being rude. So this is a huge step for us um, this time around. Like I said, he has learned this stuff before and he was more relaxed, but we're kind of starting over. He already knows this stuff, it's review, but we're starting over with getting his attention on me again. Um, I just wanted to address this before I forgot and since I'm kind of in the moment, um, it's just, how I'm feeling. I am going to record this really quick, hopefully. It's not going to be super good because I don't have a tripod with me, but I'm going to try to record it just so I can put this in this episode.
like he's been a humbling experience I guess you could say and horses kind of tend to do that to you when you think you have it put together you work with a new horse and you come to find out that every single horse that you work with has something to teach you and I have learned that I've definitely learned that um, but I, I hope I covered everything um, I didn't want to admit that he was such that I was struggling so much with him because it was a pride thing really I didn't want to admit that I was struggling because I've been training horses for so many years that doesn't matter like everybody still has to learn and has to continue to learn but look at him like he's a totally different horse than he was you know and I want to point out though when I was having those like hard times with Charlie <coughs> I was kind of complaining about him a lot, I guess, on my Instagram, in a way. I don't want to come across as like, I didn't like him. I do really, really like this horse, and I, and so, I just, you know, you just have, he was just driving me crazy, and that happens in relationships. So, I know, that is the end of episode two, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This was just groundwork. I did not get as much, stop, I did not get as many clips as I should have um, because I've gotten so many clips of groundwork with him and with other horses already um, I do wish I got clips of when he was as bad as he was because that just would have been so much worth and you guys could have seen the progress so much more so I goofed up there for sure and I apologize for that but we start riding tomorrow and that will be episode three the dogs it's the dogs is we'll the beginning of our writing, the fundamental writing stuff will be in episode three, but this is episode two. Um, I'm so excited to move forward with him. I haven't rode him since 2017, the end of 2017. It was December of 2017, I believe, or maybe even November of 2017. I am so excited because I've been trying to get to this point for a long time. And as you guys know, like I said in episode one, and if you guys are new here, the reason I had a year off, he had a year off because I was pregnant and just had a baby three months ago, almost four months ago. So this is where we are and I'm still so excited to share this journey with you guys. Um, stay tuned for episode three. I love y'all. Um, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to keep up with this series, which we are all so excited about, hit that subscribe button. You can also keep up with all my other horses trainings, training, <laughs> if you hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you guys again. I love you all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.